Good morning. This past weekend, we were able to honor some of ESM's athletic greats. That's right. Later in the show, we'll, we will highlight the Athletic Hall of Fame class of 2023. But first, news. An 11-year-old girl was killed in a drive-by shooting Monday night across from Dr. King Elementary School. The girl was at the store buying a gallon of milk when she was caught in the crossfire of a car shooting at a 19-year-old man who was also at the scene. Both were rushed to, uh, rushed to Upstate Ho University Hospital, where the girl was pronounced dead. It is believed that the girl lived only a block away from where the shooting occurred. A polar bear has attacked and killed two people in a remote Alaskan village. State troopers say they received the report at around 2.30 p.m. on Tuesday. The bear fatally attacked an adult female and juvenile male, according to troopers. The bear was shot and killed by a local resident as it attacked the two people. The names of the people killed were not released. Fatal, fatal polar bear attacks have been rare in Alaska's recent history. Troopers and the State Department of Fish and Game are planning to travel to Wales once weather allows for it. No other details have been released at the time. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Spartan Garage have entered the, a competition for tools, tools for School, and we need your vote. Uh, scan this QR code, and you can also see this on our Facebook and Twitter. Yoga Club will be holding a meditation session on Thursday after school in the library. Join Ms. Forlner to relax and recharge before the end of the semester. There will be a take a look at teaching club meeting on New Year's celebration this Thursday after school in room C4. There will be food, games, and fun. See Ms. Carocci or Ms. Van Beveren for more information. There will be a Sources of Strength peer leader meeting today from 325 to 405 in the large cafeteria. All peer leaders should plan on attending. There will be a mandatory Science Olympiad meeting after school today in room D19. We will discuss Saturday's competition and complete paperwork to prepare for the competition. Science Olympiad meeting in D19 today. Thank you. The first inductee was Dr. Paul DiMartino. He excelled at basketball, football, and lacrosse at ESM. He then took those talents and played lacrosse at Syracuse University, eventually becoming an All-American, and then he went on to have a long career as a spine surgeon. So, um, I want to thank the school, ESM, he even considered me. Um, and I it kind of, I've been lucky. I've had a pretty blessed life or a good life overall when I look at things. And seeing this again and going through this again, it really brought back a lot of great thoughts and memories for me. And I'm very thankful that this has happened, that it's happened to me, but you can never forget the other people that are behind you and your experiences for me to be here. So. Uh, thank you for, for this. Chet Gozbeck, class of 1971, was an all-star in two sports. He batted the 400 while on the baseball team and while playing quarterback. He led his football team to ESM's first county championship. Bill Hard, class of 66, was accomplished in wrestling and lacrosse, but he made his mark in football. He received a scholarship at football at Adams State College. Nineteen eighty two's Jill Maroney was introduced by two coaching legends, Milt Valerio and Hank Collins. They talked about how how the fierce competitor Jill was. She was all county in soccer, basketball, and softball, and she earned all American status in soccer at Morrisville College. A good coach can change a game. A great coach can change your life. That quote really resonated with me because I had two of the best coaches that I've ever had with Mr. Valerio and Mr. Collins. They were both completely different in their style and their approach, but they were both equally effective season to season and year to year. Unknowingly, these coaches helped me through my teen years and into adulthood. They instilled in me values that are part of who I am today. Today we have a high of 40 and a low of 30 
tomorrow we have a high of 38 and a low of 32. And on Friday we have a high of 37 and a low of 26. And I'm Xavier Moore for weather. Captain Skip Miller, class of 73, was an all-county athlete in football and lacrosse. Lacrosse is what took him to the Naval Academy, where he would earn All-American status. He served U.S. Navy until 2004. He captained nuclear submarines and worked on General Colin Powell's staff. You can't do it by yourself, and, and you've heard this three or four times tonight. You know, it's family, it's friends, it's teammates, it's coaches, and I, I got to repeat that. You know. I, I grew up in a single uh, parent home. Um, my mom never missed a game, but what got me going is my coaches. They were great mentors to me. They were great examples to me about how to be a good human being, a good man. John Novench, class of 62, was an excellent football and baseball player, batting a 528 his senior year. But it was on the hard court that he excelled. He was a first team all county in basketball his sophomore, junior, and senior seasons. He was introduced by his nephew, Nico Tamurian. Wendy Williams, class of 84, and Mike Williams, class of 82, were the first siblings to be inducted at the same ceremony. Wendy was an all-star soccer player and a county champion in track. She continued to excel playing soccer at St. Lawrence University. Michael took his track skills to Dixon College. He holds many records in track as well. And ESM athletics in particular gave me a sense of place. It gave me a sense as a tall, skinny, adolescent kid with a cheesy mustache where I was supposed to be, what I was supposed to do, and who I was supposed to do it with. And ESM Athletics gave me that sense of place, and I'm forever grateful. Michael Zarello, class of 1982, could be seen flying around the halls of ESM. He was a two-time state champion in gymnastics, which was rewarded with a scholarship to Arizona State University. His career took him to new heights as the Charlotte Hornets mascot, where he won the slam dunk championship three times. Last night, the girls and boys bowling team won 7-0 against Oswego for the girls team. Juliana Halleck had a total score of 475, and Alana Turbio was close behind at 436 points. For the boys bowling team, Zachary Castle had a high score of 591, and falling behind was Mike Saunders at 589. Last night for the girls' volleyball team's senior night, they lost to CBA 2-3 in a last set. Camille Mitchell led the team in kills with 9. Senior Natalie Peterson led the team in assists with 25. And Aqua Kwani led the team in blocks with 6. In upcoming games, the boys and girls' bowling team ha head to Cortland at 3.30, and ice hockey has a game at Casanova at 6.30. Girls basketball has a game at home against Cortland at 6.45. Boys basketball has a game at Cortland at 6.45. Wrestling has a match at FM at 7. If you would like to see more of the inductees, tune in to our YouTube channel and watch the ceremony. And from everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.